we've just had the most incredible thing happen. I still actually can't believe it has happened. We've bumped into the Nauru Pride third day in a row and they've just cornered a hyena in one of these culverts that run under the road. You'll hear some of the footage now of this hyena shrieking. So a very good morning to everyone. We've come out again this morning and hoping that we can relocate the Naru's. The light this morning has been incredible. There's a lot of mist, which is also great for filming and photographically it adds a real dramatic effect. But so far we haven't had any luck. We've come back into the same area where we left them last night and there isn't too much going on in the area. We have stopped and listened a bit to hear for any alarm calls or even audio from the lions but no luck so far. We have had a report that there is a male lion in the north. They are not sure who it is. We suspect it's one of the Tinswala males and uh, the report was that he's looking quite injured and badly beaten up so we're gonna go and have a look there and try and get an idea on who it is and find out what's going on. We had a very cool interaction now of a yellow-billed stork um, busy fishing and he was fishing in the small little channel towards an island and in the, the grass and the small reeds was a little Nile crocodile that wasn't too happy when he came too close. He came charging out at the yellow-billed stork. It was very unexpected. I was just following the stork and panning along with it and next minute this little crocodile entered the frame. So special little moments like that while waiting for something bigger to happen but it's so good to be out here so early and the light is great on all these birds We've just had the most incredible thing happen. I still actually can't believe it has happened. We've bumped into the Nauru Pride third day in a row and they've just cornered a hyena in one of these culverts that run under the road. You'll hear some of the footage now of this hyena shrieking. I think what was happening is I saw the Narus were walking along the side of the road and they must have just bumped into one sleeping with its head popped out of the culvert and they cornered it and it was not happy that it had been cornered by nearly 13 lions. Red Road was in there looking to see, as you know, male lions can't stand hyenas and they'll do anything they can just to kill it. They won't even eat it. They'll just, they despise hyenas. So this is a better understanding for you of what this culvert looks like. So all of them, as you would have seen, were standing right on top here. Red Road was down, looking down on the top of this culvert and the hyena is still somewhere in here. His best chance of survival was to stay in there. I don't think he's going to come out for a while. He was very upset that all these lions had cornered him. It must be quite a daunting experience to be caught inside a tunnel. And there's about close to 13 lion, maybe 9 or 10 that have cornered you on the outside, blocking your escape and wanting to come inside the hole. Not a fun experience, as you would have heard from the hyena's shrieks of displeasure. So here's a much better picture for all of you. 
to show you the Nauru Pride. So at the moment I've counted 10 in the road including Red Road and there's one young lioness behind me so that makes it 11. Now a few months ago when we helped the Nauru Pride uh, when the two lionesses from the Pride had gotten snares on their necks including the silver-eyed lioness the leader of the Nauru Pride we counted a total of 12 lionesses and young males and young lionesses and excluding Red Road. Red Road was not in that sighting nor was he in the sighting a few days after that where we had the Nauru's on a freshly killed zebra so we didn't really count Red Road in there but at the moment we had them as 12 and now including Red Road is 13 so we think the Nauru Pride is at the number 13 we haven't been able to see them enough recently to count more but what's interesting is that you may ask why we are missing a few members and now we think that two of the lionesses have gone off to possibly go and have cubs one being the silver eyed lioness that we looked at a few months ago and we explained to all of you that we thought she was pregnant and she was pregnant and we think now that she has gone off and either had her cubs or she could be somewhere here we'll see as, as the afternoon transpires but our strong gut feeling is that her and maybe another lioness have gone off and had cubs so in all the chaos this afternoon I managed to escape the, the brutalness from the other guides in my jewellery and hat wear that I needed to wear for this virtual safari so don't worry I'm sure it will be it will be made a point of that I will wear it it's just not this afternoon um, getting stuck a few days back wasn't wasn't the fun, <laughs> the funnest thing to do especially once I got back to the lodge it's stuff that I can't show all of you but uh, the ragging and the teasing did continue um, I'm just happy I managed to get out without them noticing but they will probably notice sooner or later so do, do not fear you will see me in the in the hat so we've just stopped on the top of the crest here just before main dam and we've decided to bypass the Nauru Pride because they were looking very interested further up the road ahead of us and this is why there's a herd of impala here and waterbuck I presume it's probably the same sort of herd that hangs around the main dam area here it's quite a big herd and this is the one that the lioness missed the other day on the virtual so I'm hoping that tonight they don't miss because it will be very cool to see them try and take down an impala or even a waterbuck um, there is a lot of prey on this crest at the moment and the lions have got the upper hand lots of long grass so here we have one of the lionesses in the grass So just to give you a brief recap of what happened over there. So some of the lionesses and the young males, including Red Road, came wandering through this thick grass towards the impala and uh, the water buck. But something spotted the water buck. As you can hear behind me, there's still alarm calls going. I don't know if they saw one of the lionesses or they'd seen another predator, perhaps a hyena on the patrol. But we're still following them and they're still very keen and interested. So we're going to stick with them. There was that big herd of impala and water buck that I showed you earlier. Um, in the meantime, it was just chaos. They were walking through the long grass and it was a very cool scene. But then we, all of a sudden, about six ground hornbills just came flying out of the grass and it wasn't the lions that spooked them. So we don't know if there was maybe another predator just on the other side, maybe interested in the same impala herd and then got whiff of the lions backed out and the impala saw that. So this young lioness is making this into a game there's another lioness just behind this bush and lions often do this they try and sneak up on each other and it's all practice let's see if this one's going to try and surprise her no just a gentle greeting maybe the next one that comes along if she lies in the grass for long enough she'll so the light has pretty much faded now there's just a bit of sliver of sunlight just past me here beautiful over main dam we had a really good sighting of the Nauru pride 
but we've had to leave them now the light has gone and uh, they've gone off behind main dam into a drainage line there so that is the area that we suspect that the nar is like to den so i don't know if they've gone in there maybe to see the silver eyed lioness or they might eventually hook up with it down there um, they were very interested in hunting impala and waterbuck on the ridge but they were unsuccessful so the best we can do is get up early tomorrow morning and try and get down here as quickly as we can and hopefully we might get them lying on the road or even on a kill but that was a, a very special afternoon very great to see them interacting with that hyena and also just to get a good head count of the Nauru pride and see how they are doing and give you all a good update